Hi, this is a screencast and should show you how to download uh, Ubuntu, install it and then run BBSect. First you have to download Ubuntu. Um, keep in mind you should uh, use a version uh, which is uh, compatible with the BBSect program we have and uh, to be compatible you have to use uh, 11 version. That means 11.10 like you see here or 11.04 and you have to use a 64-bit version so and then you have to uh, download you can do it now or later uh, from wiki.documentfoundation.org bsect uh, here uh, this file and here, that's all the BBSEC thing. So in the first part I want to show you how to uh, make a new virtual machine with uh, Firmware Player. Simply click on create a new virtual machine. Then choose the ISO image what, what you have downloaded. Click next. Enter your names. Username. Password. Please use a longer password. Store it somewhere. And yeah, you needn't customize the hardware, but you may. Yes, I will power under with the machine, and uh, then I will continue with the screencast. So here can you can see my Ubuntu with the extracted folder. To extract it, simply double click and drag it to the desktop. So, because BSect has a lot of things to do with uh, the terminal, I've prepared here uh, some things you might need. So, let's first start the terminal. And then we have to uh, get root permissions, that means simply type sudo su click enter and then enter your password. That was easy, isn't it? So I've done a mistake, sorry. Um, yeah, see all of everything that you see is alright. But something uh, what I've said might be lost. So I will restart on the last position. So you have now this double clicked on this folder and you now control L and double click it. Uh, and Yes, it's control C to copy it. Yeah, here's see the things I've done wrong. Then simple type CD and then space and then insert it. You can insert with the with this or simply by clicking here, then cl enter. Then you need the command I've written here, git b bsect start git bsect start and it's starting our bsect so now you have uh, to find a mistake so now I will show you how to start it and I hope I find a mistake so let's check out the oldest one so we need this command I will insert it takes a while to build it. Next command you have to start LibreOffice by this command. If it can't be start, uh, if the start fails the first time, simply try it again. So the thing is, pre I press Ctrl F and it's okay. Or no problem, seems to be detected here. So I th think it's working, so get get BSect good. So now I have to use the other one. Here I have said that I am using the there are so many things. I 
I've done the latest, uh, the oldest, I mean, now I'm doing the latest. I'm checking out again. I hope so, I've checked out. And then I'm starting LibreOffice and try to press Ctrl F and it fa fails. So then you have, because there was a mistake or a bug, you have to use get, get BVSEC to bad. So, and then it prepares the next version to test. You have to start this version, test it. There's a fail. It was not working again. So you, you have to say bad. Yeah. And the next version. It's always going on like this. And see, it's working. Gets bisect good. So I have to close. You have to close a libreoffice before you can say that it's good or bad. That's important. So now start the next one. I have to I do. I always do try to do it three times because in the back description it was three times. It's working. Bisect good. Close it again, but it's also been working. So now the last version. Okay, now a f uh, thing has occurred, which we find in the table shutting. We also find the problem when other pro problems. If a version uh, doesn't start, we have to use this command git bsect skip and it won't start. git bsect skip. So we have skipped it yet, and another version was created. We have to start it yet. Yeah, and because I tried it several times, we have to cancel this thing. Control F, it is working. Third time. Uh, so now, zero revisions are about to test. So, sorry. Oh, come on. So. Open text document and bisect bad. So now there's a comment. You see it somewhere here. Get bisect log. That means you get the import most important thing, the log. And simply copy this information from here to here. Oh, sorry, with right, simply right click and click copy, and then uh, you have everything you need. I will show you how it uh, looks looks like. Save my Apple document and copy it into it. And this log is what we need. So, s thanks for uh, watching this screencast and sa also thanks for helping to improve it, a LibreOffice. If you have uh, some questions, I simply use the QA mailing list at free desktop or submit, no, uh, use this list or um, yeah, you can use other mailing lists too and they will ask some 
to a people to help you and yeah before you ask you may look here in this wiki page because here are very very much information and this is uh, are the um, um, informations available now but there will certainly be much more soon if you help us so thanks for watching and goodbye